first of all, it's great to see you. you you've only been in Vancouver now a couple of months. Yes. Uh, at Phantom Creek. Tell us a little bit, of, what are your sort of first impressions of the Okanagan? Well, I was, I was seduced at, at first glance. Uh, again, when you come to the Okanagan, uh, you straight away are surprised by uh, the place. There is a sense of place that you capture because it's almost as if you were putting your, yourself inside of the vineyard. Yeah. And you try to feel what the vineyard could feel. It's a big, uh, it's going very far, obviously, but you feel that there is something special, really from a soil, uh, from a geolo geological point of view, from a climate point of view. You feel there is something happening as well, yeah. uh, from an interest of people trying really to, uh, to raise the bar, you know, to take it uh, further. Uh, and so you are seduced at first. You see scarcity as well because there are not so many uh, uh, places where you can plant your vineyard. Yeah. And all this, all this basically together uh, is a sign of quality. So you see the potential, you expect the potential, and that's why I'm here. You, work, you worked in many places, including Krug. Uh, so you know a little bit about high-end wines. What is the potential in BC to produce that kind of high-end quality wine? The, the potential is, uh, is there. I think it's, uh, it's a matter of, uh, of belief and, and of effort. At the end of the day, uh, today, when you, uh, when you travel to different wine regions, um, when you have a solid team, uh, yeah. you know, in winemaking and in viticulture, uh, it's a matter of focus. I mean, I'm thinking about this Riesling, like this is really, we could say, it's a terrible word to say, but it's a world-class Riesling that nobody knows about. What's your thoughts on that? First thing is, is we're privileged to have uh, historic vineyards. We are very privileged to explore as well new territories. This Riesling is coming from Similkimin. Yeah. Already from, in my opinion, I'm coming from Alsace. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah. we grow a little bit of Riesling over there yeah. uh, and not far from Moselle in Germany where you have a different style of Riesling which is perhaps more mineral, more uh, tropical fruit oriented. In Alsace there are uh, different Riesling but this that we have here yeah. is actually for me the best of both uh, in the sense that you have a few touch of mineral, you have a touch of minerality, you have a touch of tropical fruit. It's not too shy and it's already world class. Yeah. So we have the chance and that joins uh, the first point, we have the chance in BC to have those grapes, those wine. And that story. <laughs> and, and, and then it's just a matter of us really to focus even more. It's never given, you know, even having worked for Krug, making a high-end wine is a permanent quest. Yeah. Whether you've been a winery 150 years yeah. here or yeah. whether you've been 20 years, basically it's always about challenging yourself vintage after vintage, starting in, uh, you know, in the vineyard, having the right uh, uh, vegetal material as well. Uh, you know, I call it replanting courage sometimes. When, when things are not going right in the vineyard, be, be bullish, go and, and, and replant and then get the best possible grape, sublime them and end up with something that is world class. Has the red wine surprised you at Phantom Creek? Uh, any in particular? In particular, I would say obviously Phantom Creek Vineyard. I mean, it's uh, it's one of the vineyard that we had the chance, you know, to uh, uh, to have. Uh, it's coming obviously from 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 Richard Cleave. Uh, it grows amazing Petit Verdot, amazing Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the blends that we do, uh, Phantom Creek uh, Vineyard Cuvée, uh, is for sure a world class uh, a world class uh, wine. Uh, but yeah, the reds obviously are extremely seducing, whether it is from a, from a vineyard standpoint or whether it is from a, a varietal standpoint. So Cabernet Franc, for example, yeah. uh, we have one Cabernet Franc uh, here. Uh, you know, uh, I call it sometimes, you know, you could think about a black forest dessert. Yeah. We have different layers of, uh, you know, red cherries, black cherries, black currant, dark chocolate. Yeah. Uh, all this is, uh, is very interesting, but clearly uh, starting from the vineyard, uh, is, is where we are uh, and, and what we always do. And we're simply trying to sublime that raw material, that grape, yeah. transform it into a high-end wine and convey that work, share that work with the consumers. Well, you have a spectacular site and a lot of people are going to come and visit you. So the, I, I, I would imagine that the experience that they, they're going to get at Phantom Creek will also be under your purview about what happens there when people arrive. and. It's a very important moment because, uh, again, there is no point making a high-end wine if it's not to share it, yeah. basically. Overall, I would like to say as well uh, that we welcome, obviously, guests at Phantom Creek, but as part of, uh, let's say, the Valley host. Yeah. Uh, what we look at at Phantom Creek, uh, really, as well, uh, is to, be, uh, to have a collective effort that will eventually, uh, perhaps, and I hope uh, as soon as possible, put the Okanagan Valley, NBC, on the world wine map. That's where we're going. And it's really a collective effort. Yeah.
That's how it happened uh, in other world wine regions. So when we welcome guests, basically, our ambition, our will, is to share our work, basically, and to let people feel, build their own opinion about what they have in front of their, in, ahead of their, beyond their eyes, basically. That's what we want them to feel. So obviously sharing the work, sharing an emotion, and, and making them proud of what they have in the valley. Yeah. Well, I think they're lucky to have you. You've got a big job ahead of you <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. and lots of work to do, but yes. uh, I look forward to, but I'm happy to do what's it going to happen next at Phantom Creek. I'm happy to do it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thanks.